HIV an autoimmune disease? Okay, so what is an autoimmune disease? When someone has the disease, their immune system mistakenly attacks their own healthy cells and tissues. But un unlike when a healthy immune system attacks something that can cause harm, like a virus, theirs never calls off the attack. Autoimmune diseases, as you may have heard of, include multiple sclerosis, reactive arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus, type 1 diabetes, and inflammatory bowel disease. AIDS is primarily caused by the HIV virus, which attacks and destroys CD4 cells, which is a type of white blood cell that plays a crucial role in the immune system. As the number of CD4 cells decreases, the immune system becomes compromised, which is where I'm at, leading to a higher risk of infections and other complications. AIDS is an immune disorder. So the difference is between a disease and a disorder and AIDS is considered, considered an autoimmune disorder. To understand an autoimmune disorder, imagine that you have tiny superheroes living within your body. These superheroes try to ward off all infections and diseases by killing bacteria and viruses. In an HIV positive body, unfortunately, the superheroes get a little confused and they start attacking the body's own immune system in addition to killing viruses and bacteria. So instead of saving the body, it's actually putting it in danger. HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, can also cause an immune dysregulation, which can lead to the development of autoimmune and systemic diseases. So if it sounds confusing, it, it can be. So HIV is, is a disorder, but it can lead to certain diseases. HIV positive individuals are at a higher risk for various autoimmune diseases when compared with the general population. This could be due to the chronic immune activation and inflammation caused by the virus. Additionally, certain medications used to treat HIV, such as antiretroviral therapy, may also contribute to the development of autoimmune diseases. The list of reported autoimmune diseases in HIV AIDS patients include systemic lupus, antiphospholipid syndrome, vasculitis, primary biliary cirrhosis, polymyositis, Graves disease. But what I see as an HIV AIDS patient, patient with a low CD4 count is that even though the virus may not be detectable, it is still hiding in cells in my body and wreaking havoc when it feels like it, when I have low energy. You know, it's basically feeling like my body cannot fight the good fight, that I am fighting with one hand behind my back. All the information I've been given from a functional natural medicine perspective as well as the Western medical perspective, some of that can be in conflict and that makes it really hard to decide what meds do I need, what meds are harming my body, what supplements would be good to add. It's just this whole thing. So understanding how our immune system works and there's so much more to it, I just kind of wanted to boil it down simplistically so that, that I can understand it better and you can understand it better. But having HIV AIDS, and it, even if it's under control, in my opinion, it can still lead to things in the future that might not have happened if you did not have HIV. So as someone who was undiagnosed for at least eight years, this is my battle cry, that I will live the best life that I can live as a 61 year old while still trying to figure out where my body is, where it's going, what things have been triggered, and how do I find a way to feel better. So as always, I'm sending hope and much love.